What's going on, y'all? This is Beretta19. Back with y'all uh, with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share a video. <clears throat> you guys, if you hope you had a good day, hope you're doing all right. <clears throat> Real quick and everything, if you're going through a bad patch in life, if life frustrating, just lost a loved one, or you just got a divorce, uh, break up or you're feeling sick in, feeling sick in your body please know that jesus love you he care about you and he will bring you through any situation that you may have remember always remember it's not no damn religion either keep your head up keep motivated and you guys keep going okay always stay motivated and everything and never give up on your dream keep chasing your dream believe in yourself regardless of who don't believe in you all right next thing if you are new to my channel, it's your first time tuning in. Please understand something, everything. I talk about real shit on my channel. I talk about stuff that's relevant to people's lives. I talk about stuff and everything that can help you and build you to be a better man or a better woman. I don't put you down. I don't downgrade you or low grade you. I challenge you to be a better man or a better woman. Because I want the best for you guys, even my enemies. I want the best for you. All right, you guys. Oh, if anybody came to you said some negative about my channel, please tell them to go straight to hell because they don't know my past. They see the president, the president, excuse me. They see the president and everything. Therefore, they cannot, they think they can predict my future, but they don't know the past. So that's why I tell you, don't worry about what people say. People are going to be assholes. People are going to be ignorant. They're going to just pass judgment. But anyway, okay, you guys, the title of today's subject it's called, What Were You Thinking? I repeat, what were you thinking? What was you thinking? Please understand something, you guys. Every decision you make, is a, is a, what you make with your body, is a direct feeling from your mind. Okay? Everything fluctuates from up here. Everything. Okay? Your heart may guide you. Your heart may give you the destination. And everything, but it's your mind that forms the destination of where you're trying to go to in life. It's your mind that holds memories of stuff you've been through. It's your mind, remember all the people that, that lied to you and everything done you wrong. It's called memory. Remember, you don't have memory in your heart, your memory's in your mind. Now, please understand something, you guys. When you make decisions and everything, please understand you ain't just making it for yourself. If you have children and you want if this man is right or this woman is right and everything, you make a decision and everything for you and the kids. Okay? And please understand some also and everything. Make wise decisions. Investigate, you guys. Don't sit here and tell me you didn't see some coming or you didn't know he or she was that way and everything. Their signs are there, but you have to pay attention to them. You guys... I know some of y'all right now sitting in y'all marriages and everything miserable as hell. Or you sitting at home lonely as hell. Please understand something and everything. You got to know what you're doing before you do it. You got to have a plan. You got to have a route that you know that you're going to take to get to where you're trying to get to in life. And another thing, you guys, as far as what were you thinking and everything. You got people nowadays just posting any damn thing on social media. I mean any damn thing. From people being girls being half naked, uh dudes and everything sitting up getting high, getting drunk, dudes sitting up here uh waving guns and acting crazy and everything. Here's what I feel why that's real stupid and everything. First of first and foremost, if you committing a crime, why the hell would you broadcast it on social media? You just pretty much gave police evidence and somebody gonna recognize your ass out of a damn lineup. And everything or recognize your ass and call the authorities in and have your ass brought to jail. Why would you snitch on yourself? I'm just letting you guys know it and everything. Quit doing dumb shit. What were you thinking? You knew that man was on drugs and everything when you met him. You knew he didn't have no money when you met him. You knew he was acting a fool, running from chick to chick, running from female to female and everything when you met him. You knew she wasn't no damn good. Because she was running from dude here, dude there. She she can't keep an honest job. She can't keep an honest relationship. If you knew this is where you went in, why the hell are you married? 
That's the problem with people. You always can try to change people. Oh, my love would change him or her and everything. Bullshit. Yeah, people got to change on their own. And please understand something and everything. When you, what people don't understand about jobs and everything, when you smoke and you drink, you put that stuff in your body, that affect your chance of getting employed. That affect, that affect your chance of getting hired somewhere. That's why I said, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about and everything when you go rob a store and everything and hurt some old lady or old man? For what? A measly $200? For 500 Say 1000 At a convenience store. What were you thinking? What were you thinking and everything? Getting up in the... Getting up in a man's face. Sorry about that. I heard some noise. Thought I had to bring some out real quick. But uh, what were you thinking and everything when you uh, when you saw what you saw that night? What were you thinking and everything for letting your best friend stay spend the night with your husband or with your wife? What were you thinking? Did you not think something was going on? What were you thinking and everything? Your kids sneaking in and out of the house at night and everything. You acting like you don't know what's going on. And you let it happen, you let it happen. Or you naive of them doing it and everything. And something come up, happened to them. Now you're sitting there crying and whining. What were you thinking? What were you thinking getting up in a man's face? You don't know him. Trying to talk shit and everything. You figure because you're either younger than him, or you think you're bigger than him or stronger than him, that he's easy prey. And then he pull out a gun and shoot and kill you. Or beat the hell out of you. What were you thinking? I just want to be wondering some people and everything. Do you use this at all? And you ladies and everything, what were you thinking getting all up in the man's face? What were you thinking about and everything? You know, sitting here twisting and shaking your behind on these social media websites. Only fans and all that. Doing all this old sick shit and everything. All this old provocative stuff and everything. And then you get mad when a man call you out your name. Remember, how you carry yourself, that's what you're going to attract. So I'm just letting you guys know that then what were you thinking? What were you thinking getting high that night? What were you thinking riding the car with all those dudes when you know they was doing drugs? And you wonder why you sitting in jail right now and you even have no drugs. What were you thinking getting in the car and everything? You just left a party turned up, drinking and everything. You mess around, crash into somebody and kill them. Or then you crash into a pole and kill yourself. What were you thinking? Think before you do something. Take it from a man who knows. Who were you thinking everything, bringing a gun into a school, hurting a bunch of kids? What were you thinking everything, shooting an unarmed black man for no damn reason? What were you thinking of raping that, raping that girl, kidnapping and raping her? What were you thinking everything, excuse me, for cheating on your tests? And you wonder why they threw your ass out of school. What were you thinking of causing a fight and everything? You more in that mess around, got your ass whooped and embarrassed in front of everybody. What were you thinking? What were you thinking of telling your kids, get away from me? I'm tired of y'all and everything. Y'all don't care if y'all never come back dogging and mistreating them. And then when you get old and everything, they leave your ass there to defend for yourself. What were you thinking? What were you thinking and everything? Your parents that took care of you on the flip side. Your parents took care of you and everything. And you leave them hanging. You disrespect them. You dog them. You never there for them when they need you and everything. You, your ass get in the jam. They're the first person you call. What were you thinking? Who you think is sitting there acting bougie to somebody and everything that you think is less than you or less educated or have less money than you and turned around, you get into trouble or somebody trying to rape you or chasing after you with a knife and everything. And what ends up happening? The very man that you went uh, at is the very man that saved you. What were you thinking? I'm just saying, what were you thinking? I don't understand people. They get up here. They do these things. They say stuff without thinking. See, when I when I talk when I talk about stuff on my channel, I have it all thought out. And when I say I have it all thought out and all figured out, meaning I already know what I'm going to say, and I know it's real shit and it ain't bullshit. And I know I'm challenging you to be a better person. But what were you thinking and everything? Where what, what, what were you thinking? Just sitting around. 
for 10, 20, 30 years doing it, nothing. Then you look back at your life, you 40, 50, 60 years old and everything, and you don't have nothing to show for it. You still living in your mama house. You still trying to act hip. And you 50, 60 years old. Pray you don't break your damn hip. What were you thinking trying to act young or trying to act older? What were you thinking? I'm, I'm just be asking myself, what do people be thinking about nowadays? You don't think nobody else and everything or wake up with the same personality? You don't think nobody will check you for being disrespectful to them? You think you privileged? You think you all can just walk over and just treat people any kind of way? What were you thinking? And you wonder why you laying in the grave right now dead? Because you crossed the wrong man or wrong woman? What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Please understand something and everything. Think before you do something. And take it from a man who know. This life is short, you guys. It really is short. So I'm just letting you guys know and everything. Make damn sure everything that you do right by people. Make sure you think before you act. Take it from a man who know. It's a lot of times I had to think before I act because God knows if I didn't, I know what would have happened. I'm just telling you and everything. What were you thinking accepting somebody else as your savior other than Jesus? What were you thinking? Do you wonder why you sitting up in hell? Oh, that's sure religion. Religion, my ass. Jesus is the, he's the Lord and Savior. Whether you like it or agree with it or not. He said every knee going to bow and every tongue going to confess that he is Lord. He said it in his word. That ain't no lie. That ain't no bullshit. So I'm just telling you everything. What are you thinking about? Just if people took the time to think, they wouldn't be in trouble that they in. And I know it get hard, you guys. Dealing with people disrespectful. I know it get hard. Everything when people try to talk crazy to you. Trust me, I know. You talking to a man who know what you're talking about and feel you where you're coming from from experience. Not out of no damn book I read from experience. What were you thinking running off your leaving your kids, leaving your son, or leaving your daughter and everything? And then you wonder why they get they become grown and they want to have nothing to do with you. Who were you thinking everything of uh killing your uh child and everything, and having an abortion with your child and everything because all because you was messing around. And you didn't want no child, so you go kill the child and everything. And then you find out that you having other complications with your body because you didn't have an abortion with two or three kids. If you don't want kids, keep your legs closed. Particularly to all my independent women who got it going on. You don't want kids and everything. You want nobody to approach you. Then why bother getting in a relationship? Real men out here want a relationship. Real men out here want, want a family. If you ain't down with that and everything, take your highly polluted ass somewhere else. What were you thinking? And then you wonder why you sitting up, like I said before, you sitting up 40, 50, 60 years old with no man and no kids and nobody to come home to, but an empty, big old, fine, empty house. What were you thinking? There are more things more important than everything than chasing a damn career. I didn't tell you didn't work hard. I didn't say don't work hard. That's not what I'm saying. Work hard and everything. But please understand something. You chasing your career and, and don't want no kids, want to just want to be, you know, party hard or whatever the hell you want to do. You gonna one day you gonna get lonely. One day you gonna wish you gonna be talking to your mom and your daddy, and you if they still around, you gonna be asking everything. Why did not take the time to try to, have to get me a family? I was so busy chasing the career and chasing money. Nothing wrong with hard work, people. Trust me, I've been through poverty too. Don't get it twisted. But at the same time and everything, I'm not finna sit here. And put money before family. You don't do that. Because what good is me being the richest man in the world. And I don't have nobody to spend it on. What good is me having the nicest car in the world. And everything. And nobody to drive any with me. What good is me building a damn playhouse in the back. And everything. And have no kids to go play in it. You tell me. What good is having all that closet space. If you ain't got a wife fussing at you. About having the closet space. What good is it. All that material stuff you accumulated, what good is it? What was you thinking? What did it get you? You can't take none of that shit with you when you die. I don't care what kind of car, how much money, where you live, whatever. You can't take none of it with you when you die. What were you thinking? I keep telling you, think before you do something. Think. Do you really want to be alone 30, 40, 50, 60 years? You say that now that you can handle it. 
But let the years go by and no brother pay you with no attention. Or any man, for that matter, pay you no attention. Then your ass will learn something. Or let the years go by and no woman pay you no attention. So I'm just keep, keep telling you. Don't let social media form your way of thinking. Don't let these damn celebrities form your way of thinking. Have your own mind. Don't let nobody control none up here. I'm just let you know. This is Beretta 19, you guys. And the last question before I, I'll leave here. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? You wonder why you're in a miserable relationship now? Marriage or boyfriend or girlfriend? I'm asking you, what were you thinking? The signs were there. All couples are arguing and fight. I get all that. But what were you thinking? You ain't, you don't smoke and drink, but yet you married somebody that smoke and drink. And you wonder why y'all can't have kids. You wonder why he or she... Got complications and everything. You wonder why he and she got to keep going back and forth to the doctor. What were you thinking? I'm just letting you know. Think before you do something. That's why I'm still single now. Don't get it twisted now. I've, I've met a lot of females. But I've yet to meet a, meet a woman. I'm just telling you. A woman is much different than a female. Go watch my other videos. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's Reddit 19, y'all. Take care.